Hi guys, Sis the Vet here. I want to discuss with you today pink eye and the differences in cause and treatment between sheep, goats and cattle. If you want to keep updated with weekly diseases that are going to be hitting your farm hard and fast at certain times of year, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you shortly. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Says the Vet. I wanted to discuss pink eye today because I see a ton of animals being treated improperly, assuming that cattle, sheep, goats and alpaca are all one and the same. I can assure you they are not. And treating them as such will result in frustration and money down the drain. Just to start with the basics, pink eye is an infection of the eye seen in all animals, including humans. It presents pretty similarly across species. It's spread hard and fast. Young animals are usually most affected, but any age can catch it, absolutely. It can affect one or both eyes, and it can progress to severe over just a few weeks or even sometimes as quickly as a few days. It starts off as conjunctivitis, so this means reddening and swelling of the tissue around the eyeball, that's the conjunctiva. It then progresses to inflaming the eyeball itself, and the surface of the eye can become ulcerated. This is when we see an ulcer of cloudy looking area. And when the inside of the eyeball is inflamed, the little drain where fluid is supposed to leak out from the eye gets obstructed. So the eyeball itself turns a cloudy color as fluid builds up in there, the globe will swell and deform, and eventually, without any treatment, the eyeball will rupture. So it's pretty nasty if left to its own devices. And depending on severity, your vet may start recommending more intense treatments such as stitching the eye closed, injections into the conjunctiva itself, into the top of the eye there. Anti-inflammatory treatment is crucial to saving their vision as well. So you do need to see a vet. Now, let's start with cattle. In cattle, the main cause is a bacteria called Morix alibovis. We have Viruses as well, other little guys jumping on the bandwagon, but generally Morix alibobus is the instigator of the whole event and the one we need to treat for. This guy is generally spread by flies and dust, so it is a summertime disease. Luckily, this bacteria is killed by many different antibiotics pretty easily, so penicillin is a very easy common choice of treatment, either injectable or just as a cream that you apply to the eye. So if it's severe, you may be advised to do both. Here in New Zealand, a product farmers will use a lot as a product called Orbitin Eye. It's a cream. It's generally really effective so long as the eye is not too far gone. Problems arise, however, when people try and treat sheep and goat pink eye with Orbitin and Eye. So in sheep and goats, the cause of the infection is different. In sheep and goats, it's generally going to be a chlamydia bacteria or a mycoplasma, which needs a tetracycline or macrolide. These are two completely different classes of antibiotic to penicillin. So a different injectable antibiotic, a different type of cream for the eye. Now, side note on camelids, pink eye has been documented before, but not very commonly as outbreaks at all. These guys are much more likely to have trauma to the eye because of their boggly eyes. They can also get other weird things like obstructed nasolacrimal ducts where tears are supposed to drain, inflammation within the body itself, and camelids also really commonly results in the eyes looking affected. So totally different course of treatment, okay? Camelids are their own little separate, <laughs> separate subset altogether. Okay, so let's delve into treatment and prevention during an outbreak, because there is a lot to it, much more than just treating with the antibiotic. So firstly, if you can separate the affected animals, that's ideal, it's very contagious, you absolutely need to be wearing disposable gloves, changing in between individuals, okay? Fluid from the eyes will infect other animals and it will carry on your hands. Affected animals need to be given shade. Sunlight is really painful for them and can actually worsen the condition. Affected animals need anti-inflammatory pain relief, such as meloxicam, of course that's offering pain relief, so it's crucial for welfare. Um, but it is also bringing down the inflammation in and around and inside that eye, which is really important to prevent irreversible damage from that little drainage point blocking up. Do you know what I mean? So we hit with anti-inflammatories to actually save the eye itself. Now you want to be trying to prevent flies. So for example, in the shed with dairy cattle and with cattle, there is a vaccine that you can also use coming into the summer. In all species, you want to avoid mustering them in the heat of the day when there's dust flying around and standing them for long periods of time where they're gonna rub up faces and just spread it around, okay? Now, as always, I need to make it clear that while pink eye is common, this is not always going to be the cause. Other causes could be foreign bodies, so little grass seeds in the eye, that kind of jazz, trauma to the eye, viruses like malignant catarrhal fever in cattle, cobalt deficiencies, facial eczema, listeria, there are so many other causes, and anything wrong with the eye should always be considered an emergency. Get a vet visit, get a correct diagnosis, and get the proper treatment. 
In severe cases, you may need injections under the eyelids, blood plasma infusions into the eye, even surgery, if it's gonna come right. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it for there now. Um, please go ahead and subscribe if you want more updates on this. I can't reiterate enough, please jump over to the YouTube channel to ask your questions um, and to comment on there so that I can actually see them. Thumbs up if it was useful to you. Please go ahead and share it if you think you know anyone else that it would be useful to. And I will see you for the next one.